Hi there, Ed Moses here, and welcome back to Project Mindset. Happy January 1st, if you're watching this on the first day. I load this. Um, I want you to think to yourself for a minute. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever seen somebody that does something just to get it done? Have you ever been that person? You, you do something, so let's say it's, it's at a job you have. You, you do it, you just do it, you want to get it done so you can get on to something else, because you don't really like doing it. Well, that's what this is about today. This is about just do it. Um, kind of stole the idea from Nike in a way, but it doesn't have anything to do with Nike. Um, what I'm talking about here is people get in the habit of just doing things. They get it done, they want to get it done fast so they can move on. And you know, you find this most of the time in the, you know, the, the corporate world, your job, whatever your job might be. You may not like your job and that's why you try to get things done as fast as you can. You just want to get past it. You don't want to actually do it, so it's like, well, if I get this done, I can go to something else. And there's a problem with that, a big problem with that. Um, one of the major problems is when you do things just to get it done, you do it fast, you make mistakes. And guess what? You can come back and you got to fix those mistakes. Or it causes another problem down the road for something else or somebody else, and it becomes a larger mistake. And that's not good. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, a lot of people, they look at the clock. People are clock watchers. Oh my God, I don't have enough time. i got to do this as fast as I can. Let's just do it. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Guess what? It sucks. Whatever it is, you're not getting it done right. It's not it's done very well. The, the, the thought isn't put into it. The heart isn't put into it. It just been scribbled out as fast as it could. Got it done. And guess what? Whoever is going to read that, whoever is going to see that, is probably going to notice that, well, this wasn't very well thought out. Now you're probably going to tell me, like, if it's something at your job, you know, just inputting some data or whatever, whatever that might be, okay, well, maybe that doesn't matter so much, but you still need to be accurate. Um, but what I'm really leading to here is when it comes to a home entrepreneur, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you are a home entrepreneur. Um, if you're not, this this works for just about anything. Even even if you are an entrepreneur and you have a business, uh, when, whenever you do something, don't be a clock watcher. Don't worry about the time because if you start worrying about the time, guess what? You're going to rush whatever it is you're doing, and it's not going to get done well. It's not going to get done right. And you know, it goes just like this multitasking crap, you know? Well, people prag, oh, I can multitask. Well, guess what? It's not really that great of a thing to do because you're actually stealing time from something else that could be in, in all this stuff. Instead of getting done with with care and finesse, it's getting done as fast as it can be done, and it's, and it's probably not going to be as accurate as it could be. So here's what, as, as a home entrepreneur, it's really important to think along the lines of, you know, if this is something I'm passionate about, wouldn't it make more sense to take the time to do it right? Take the time to put my heart into it. Take the time to just inspire somebody. Somebody that's also interested in whatever it is I'm interested in. And, and, and maybe give them a lift. You know, when they read this, give them a lift and make them feel good about what you've just said and, and inspire them to do something for themselves. That's what I'm talking about. When you talk about just doing it, that's what I'm talking about. You know, there's, there's too many people that get into the into any home business and they got this this rush mentality going on. I just got to get this done. I just, just do it, get it done, I can go sit down and watch television. Well, you know what? That's the, that don't work. Um, there's got to be a plan. There's got to be some organization somehow, even on a home business. You know, most people, they enter this field and they don't have an entrepreneurial mind. They don't think like an entrepreneur. They think like an employee. Just get it done so I can go on and do something else. Well, that's not the way to think. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to have a plan. You need to think about how things are going to work, how you want things to flow, how you want things to appear to other people, and how you want to inspire people, or whatever it is that you want to draw them in 
to so that they can either like what you have, buy what you have, or be inspired by what you have. So, it, and there's kind of a, a plan that a lot of people, they, they should organize their business. And number one thing I think that any business should have is their why. They need to know why they're in business. And I'm telling you right now, that guy that, that just finished doing his blog or, or rushed through some advertisement just to get it off there and, and get the TV on, watch that football game, whatever. I'm, going, I'm telling you right now, that person don't know why they do what they do. They don't know why they're doing it. Because if they knew why, guess what? That TV would not be very important to them right now. And, you know, once you know why, you know what you do and you know how you do it. Or you should anyway. Or you should be doing it. But as it as it as it as it comes down to a business, if you don't know why you're in business, if you don't know why you're doing what you do, how can you just you know and you're just doing it to do it? You're in the wrong business. It's just like having a job, you know. At least with a job, you know you're going to get paid. When you have a home business and it's not working for you, it's because it's not working for you because you're not, your passion's not there. You're just doing things, and if it don't work, it's like, well, I don't know why it don't work. You know, you actually get paid for what value you put out there to people. You really do. If, if you have no value to offer, then you're not going to make any money. Sorry, that's the way it is. So, you know, when I say just do it, do it because you care. Do it because you want to. Do it because you want it to inspire and empower people. Do it because you have a reason to do it. Not to get it done. Just to get it done. That's not a reason to do anything, actually. That's just, uh, that's just not a reason. I mean, think about this for a minute. You know, most people, they take the garbage out, right? Well, they just do it to get it done. I'm guilty of that. Who wants to take the garbage out, right? But let's step back for a moment. Let's think about this. You've got to walk out to the end of your driveway, leave that bag or the barrel, whatever, you, however you do it. Look around you. There's nature, right? There's birds, there's flowers, trees. Maybe it's time to enjoy some of that. Well, you're just that, that little short walk. Maybe it's time just to enjoy some of that, some of that moment, and realize I'm not just taking the garbage out, but I'm actually getting to enjoy a little bit of nature too, the gift of nature. It's a gift, right? So, when you do something, you know, I, I, and I know it's hard for people when they, when they have a job they don't want, they don't enjoy, they do it because they they say they need the money, you know, okay, I understand that, and you just do it, you get it done. But, you know, that tells me one thing, it just tells me you're in the wrong career, you're, you're not doing the right thing with yourself, because life is not supposed to be dull, it's not supposed to be uh, a pain in the ass, let's put it that way. A lot of people think it does, or it is, and, you know, that's just no way to be, that's no way to live. Um, if you're going to do something with your life, you should do it because you want to do it, right? You should want to do it. You should want to do it so bad you can taste it. You, you, it's coming from your heart. You want to inspire people. You want to help people. And, you know, if that's, if that's not happening, then you're not doing what you're supposed to do with your life. You're just, you're a zombie. And you hate to say it. You're you're taking the medicine and you're, you're, you're drinking the Kool-Aid and a lot of people we need to quit drinking the Kool-Aid people need to stop drinking the Kool-Aid you know invent your own flavor if you're going to drink Kool-Aid invent your own flavor and uh, I had run with that so you know that that's that's really my point here 
That's really my point. If you're going to do something, do something that inspires you. Do something to inspire others. And, you know, have a purpose. Have a purpose. Know why you're doing it. And, and you know, that, that's, that's going to go a long way. I mean, it's going to go a long way. I mean, if you're, if you're one of these people that have your business and you're just doing things, get it done, so let's see what happens. You're not thinking about it. You're not putting any time into it. You're not, you know, stop sometimes. It's not a big deal to just sit and think, brainstorm, and just think. Sometimes it's okay just to think. Maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe you don't know what to write about. Maybe you don't know how to make the ad right now. So don't just put something out there or put it out there because I'm going to tell you right now it ain't going to work. Think about it. Put it. You don't think. Sit for a while. Even if it's an hour, just sit. Think. Let good things come to you. Let thoughts roll to you. Get inspired. Get inspired. Get in sync with things. That's what I'm talking about. Just do it. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I want to create a project mindset. The whole idea was to was to help people find a better way of doing things. And you know, however you use project mindset, it's really up to you. It really is up to you. But I can tell you one thing: project mindset is a better way. Um, if you haven't joined, join now. Get get involved. Um, and I'm constantly going to make these videos. I, I want to help people. I want to inspire people to find a better way of doing things. And I know, I know you can. I know you can do it. You know, sometimes you just need a little push. But, you know, that's uh, what I'm here for. So, I'll see you in the next video. I enjoyed making this video. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You have a great day. And a happy new year. Um, we'll see you now. Bye.